What's up guys, Ryan here. Today I wanted to walk you through how to integrate Etsy with your Printful account. Now, if you're not familiar with Printful, it is a print-on-demand production partner, meaning when we make sales for our print-on-demand products, they will integrate with whatever e-commerce website or personal website we're running and automatically download the orders and fulfill them for us. It's amazing. It is truly as good as it sounds. The best part, we don't even have to pay a monthly fee. Now, Printful has some competitors, most of which that I've seen want you to pay a monthly fee. It's either, you know, sometimes required like Gearbubble or with Printify, a very similar sounding company, but different. They will charge you a monthly fee to get a better rate on the products that you pretty much have to pay to be competitive. Anyways, I'm going to walk you through how to sell on Etsy using Printful. And real quick, I just wanted to show you that Etsy has made this information public. In 2017, they had over 31 million shoppers. In 2018, they had over 37 million shoppers, which was a 17% increase year over year. Also, if you're wondering, their stock is doing quite well. Uh, as you can see here, if you bought in in uh, early 2018, May 2018, you would have more than doubled your money now. So the stock price reflects their growth. All right, guys, so connecting Printful to Etsy is a one-time process. You do it once, you set it and forget it. So let's get to it. First, I just wanted to share with you why you can trust me. So I took this screenshot when I wrote this article uh, earlier this week. I have 1,954 sales on my primary Etsy store. I've been on Etsy since 2017 and uh, I have 133 customer feedback, all five star. And I'm fulfilling 98% of my Etsy orders through Printful. So the five-star review uh, average rating after 133 sales is very indicative of how happy my customers are with my customer service, my designs, and Printful. You know, Printful is worth at least 33% of that pie because they're the ones doing the uh, fulfillment of these orders and sourcing the products that my designs are printed on. All right, step one, you need to open your free Printful account. Now guys, the reason I'm walking you through my blog with screenshots instead of doing it for real is that Etsy is pretty touchy with multiple IP addresses and I do have a, uh, <laughs> I have a dedicated IP that I bought through a VPN that I use to run a second Etsy shop mainly for demos, but because it's already integrated, I don't want to go through the process again and risk messing it up. So I'm just going to go through the screenshots that I took of the entire process. It will get you through it just the same. So first things first, open a Printful account. It's free, no monthly fees. Printful is amazing. I got a link right here in the description. You will not regret it. You'll remember this day when you signed up for Printful. Step two, open your Etsy shop. Again, I got a link right here for you. If you go to Etsy.com, there's a link in the top right that says sell on Etsy. You can just click that and then click open your shop. Go through the whole prompt. It's going to take you a couple minutes. Just pause the video. Come back when that's done. Once your Etsy seller account is set up, you're going to need to go in and set up your new shop. Now, really quickly. I have an entire article that goes very in depth about how to start an Etsy shop, not just do the bare minimum, but start a very professional looking Etsy shop. And if you're new to my channel, you, I guess, don't know that I'm very thorough. I walk you through, not just fill this out, fill that out. I go through everything, including like websites. I recommend to you to go get nice looking stock photos and banner photos so that you really have an Etsy shop that has that like homemade touch. It's really that handmade, homemade, uh, warm, fuzzy feeling. So check this article out. Another one that I will put right here in the description. It'll get your Etsy shop up, running, and looking great. Completely free. Once you have your shop set up and looking good, you're going to need to create your first listing before we can get the integration with Printful done. So on the left-hand side under your shop manager, click listings, and then in the top right corner, click add listing. So right here, I've highlighted basically all the required fields for you to create your first listing. The one thing worth mentioning, guys, is that this first listing that you create, it really doesn't need to be like a real product. You can just do the minimum, call it the test product, or maybe don't call it the test product because I don't know if that'll flag it, set off a flag in Etsy, but this doesn't have to be a real product. This is literally just so you can get the Printful Etsy integration going and you can start adding the real products. So this one, do whatever you want. Um, you could just go download a t-shirt image off Google, do the bare minimum, get it posted to Etsy. When you publish it, it's going to cost you 20 cents, 
once it's live, we'll get the integration going and then you can delete this product if you want to. This is just a requirement to go through the integration. So do the bare minimum here for creating your first listing. Once it's published, again, you'll be billed 20 cents. Actually, before it's published, you may want to just do this while you're on the listing screen. You could also do it afterwards, but you want to add a production partner. The reason you do this, Etsy requires it if you're going to sell print on demand products on their marketplace. So we obviously want to add Printful. Right here, what I've done is walk you through the process. I also include this on that other article uh, that I walked you through setting up your Etsy shop. But basically, you're going to set Printful as your production partner. Location, Chatsworth, California. They do have other warehouses, but this is their primary for fulfilling orders to the United States. So just go ahead and leave that. And then about production partner, this is just some, you know, kind of dummy text. You can change it up. You can use it, whatever you want. I put, I couldn't function without Printful and their role as a production partner. They print, pack, and ship out orders from their California production and fulfillment center, allowing me to focus on what I'm best at, designing top-notch products that my customers will love. See, it's, that, that fits the Etsy uh, desirable seller profile. Uh, and by the way, Etsy is known for closing seller accounts for no reason. They do it quite often, so you don't want to skip any steps, guys. I should have mentioned that probably up front. Do not mess around on Etsy, they are way more uh, strict about who they let in to sell on their marketplace. All right, oh yeah, about your partnership at the bottom. I don't have the technical ability or equipment to make the uh, products. I design everything myself and they do everything for me. So make sure you set those up and then save that as your production partner. Then when you create your print on demand listings that you want Printful to fulfill, you'll set them as your production partner. All right, now navigate over to Printful. This is where the magic happens now that we've fulfilled all the uh, prerequisites. So click uh, stores and then click Etsy. So you're going to hit in Printful stores, uh, then I think it's connect to platform and then connect to Etsy. This will take you to a page on Etsy.com. All you have to do is hit allow access. So you click the allow access button and that is it. This will kick off the uh, product sync. So you'll have to wait a minute to maybe longer. It's basically going to download all the product listing information from your Etsy store. You'll see a little uh, animated GIF showing that it's working. Eventually it will finish. If you followed my recommendation and only have the one listing in there, then you'll see that in Printful once it finishes downloading. You'll also notice that it says not synced and I highlighted that in this image in yellow. You can choose if you, when you created your first product, if it is a product that you want Printful to fulfill, you can set up that sync right here by hitting the edit button. I'm not going to walk you through doing that because it's just not, to me, it's not worth the time. It costs you 20 cents. I would just go back in and delete that listing. And then now whenever you want to add products through Printful, you can just hit the add product button right here and it will take you through Printful's product creation wizard, which is incredibly easy to use. I've done additional posts about how to create products on Printful, walking you through it. Um, I guess, you know what, I can go ahead and put another link in the description. Basically, I'm gonna tie this video into a mini course, walking through the Etsy Printful integration and getting you started on the right foot when you launch your Etsy shop. So stay tuned for that. My goal is to have it done within the next week. So if you guys are watching this video, outside of the first week of May, then it probably already exists and you'll be able to join by looking at the link in the description. Anyways, guys, thank you for checking out this video. I hope it helped. If you have any questions or I didn't do a good job addressing anything, please hit me up in the comments. Tell me I did a bad job. Ask me a question, I'll get back to you. You can also hit me up on Facebook. I have a private Facebook group where I'm sharing tidbits of knowledge all the time. I dropped some gold just the other day, just a couple of days ago where in a span of, I think, five minutes, I saved myself $30 on orders, and it was related to Printful volume discounts. So if you want, if you, that information's available in the Facebook group, just hit apply. Got a link right there. Um, anyways, guys, if you liked the video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. It would mean the world to me. My channel's still relatively new. I'm doing what I can to grow it as quickly as possible while still putting out good info. Thank you guys for checking this video out, and I'll see you at the next one.